Hi there, I'm Leonard, a Kiwi and Flutter enthusiast. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Python 3.8, Kiwi 2.0, and Kiwi MD. I'm on Mac OS Catalina, um, but I'm going to mention the other tools. But the instructions are specific to Mac OS. Mac OS. I'll use uh, ASDF to set up Python. Um, it allows you to manage multiple Python versions. Okay, let's get started. Uh, we'll start on the ASDF installation page. You can find the link in the description below. So, copy this and go to your terminal. Uh, paste that and run it. Um, I had already run it, so I have that step already done. Then go to open your uh, Z shell. If you are on Mac OS uh, Catalina, then the default is the default shell is Z shell. So these instructions are specific to that. But if you have Bash, uh, change this to Bash or Fish. So copy this instruction and add it to your. Uh, Z shell RC. Um, I, I can just quickly show mine here so you can see what I'm referring to. So you can see where my cursor is. That's the instruction. You can add it there. Then remember to source your uh, Z shell RC. Okay. <clears throat> After that, we'll install the ASDF plugin for Python. Okay, so how you you need to first add the plugin so you can come here. Uh, this is the instruction ASDF plugin add. So that then Python. Okay, so let's run this command. Okay, so it tells me the plugin had already been added. Um, I already had it. Um, then you need to list all the available Python versions. Okay, so that lists all the Python versions. We're interested in 3.8. So scroll until you get to the latest stable. So it's this one here, 3.83. So install Python 3.83. So uh, press enter, and that will uh, that will download the Python version and install it. Okay, so I already had it installed, so I'll be running that instruction. Okay, so once you're done with that, you need to set the uh, that Python version to be your global version or just the local version. Uh, so in that case, um, if you want it to be the global version, you need to run this command here. This command here set the current version um, again the link is in the description so you need to run this command sdf global python 3.83 okay um, so run that command that sets it as the your global python version that means from initial when you type python version you'll get the specific version installed. In my case, I already had 3.81, but um, you'll see the version you're running uh, at that point in time. Um, if you just want it for the local shell, you can have this here. you can do that if you just want it for the current shell when you close the shell then it will 
it will use the the python version that you had earlier okay then uh, after that we need to let's set up a virtual lab in which we'll install key <coughs> So I have a folder a VN um, on my home directory that I use for I, I set up VMs a virtual lens. Okay, so we'll install Kiwi in that um, in that virtual lens. The next step is to download the 2.0 release of Kiwi. So again, you'll find the link in the description. So click here, so it downloads. Okay, let's open that. Okay, then let's unzip it. Okay, so there it is. So we'll need to cd into this folder and cd into it. So you see I have the uh, virtual end activated here. So uh, cd into that. Okay. Mm, that's, the, that's the earlier one I had downloaded. So when we are in this folder, we need to run pip install uh, dot. Now, um, it's possible that uh, some of these dependencies will fail. If that happens you need to come here um, and you need to install these dependencies so you will need to run this command here if the dependencies here fail so you can run here in a fresh shell to install them but let's see if they fail I, I skipped ahead to the end mine didn't fail but in case yours fails remember to run this command here uh, install these dependencies using brew homebrew and um, remember to have installed xcode okay um, again you'll find a link to uh, to this in the description next let's um, install kvmd so we'll go to the releases page for kvmd again you'll find a link in the description and download the latest version they have All 
white let's unzip that all right so here it is so i'll again cd into this folder and install the same way All right, so it's done. Now let's run one of the demo uh, applications. All right, so the demo application started. All right, that, that's it. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave in the comment section. Remember to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.